Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm pretty excited to do. It is our Behind the Brand series where I pick a candle company and I do as much research as I can. I try out one of their products and I come and bring you all the information I can about it. A lot of times we are shopping from our mainstream brands, Goose Creek, Bath & Body Works, Kringle, um, Gold, or Yankee Candle, where we're not really um, as uh, exposed to some of these other brands that are out there. This one is probably the most popular brand that I have chosen so far. Um, I had done like Ulta Beauty, I had done Adulting Candle Company, I had featured Above Average Candle Studio, um, and those were really small one to two um, employee businesses. They were just, they had some interest and experience in the field and they set off on their own to create their own company, which I thought was really cool. Ulta Beauty was just like a new, it was kind of new to me. I had never seen candles in the makeup store, so I thought that's kind of interesting. And that all kind of prompted me to create this series. So... This one, this video, girls, is all about candles. I know some of you are just here for the makeup, and I apologize for that. Um, but we do this series every month, so it is something that I really do enjoy doing. So if you like this video, please give it a like and um, give a comment down below. I'm really looking for some more brands maybe if you guys have heard of. I've written down a little list. Some are harder to get a hold of than others. Um, so if you guys have any interesting brands that you'd like me to kind of do a deep dive into, you know, a little bit of backstory about the brand and when they started and all those things, um, I'd be happy to do that. So leave it down in the comments below. But let's jump into Homesick. So Homesick Candles came across my, I think it was an Instagram feed a few months ago and I never heard of them. I think it's probably just because I had kind of amped up my candle looking on all social media and you know how that is. You look at something over here and you're going to get an ad over there. So I did order and then I was holding this because I had a few candle companies reach out to me and I was using those products. Um, a candle from them, Illinois. Now, why did I choose Illinois? Because I'm from Illinois. I moved to Kentucky two years ago, but I figured I don't really feel homesick, but it's something that would probably be right up my alley. I have this one or Chicago, which I'm from the real like Northern Illinois part, not necessarily like the West part. Um, so I felt more comfortable going with this one. And so let's talk about the brand and then we'll talk about the candle. So behind the uh, the story of the brand is it was started in 2016 and their message, and I wrote a little notes here because I'm obviously not gonna memorize everything, but their message is simply to bring joy to home by helping you feel closer to people, places, and moments that matter most. I thought that was super cool. They uh, speak to an average of 30 to 100 people from the people, place, or thing, the moment, the state, the place that they're trying to capture or encompass the um, scent of the candle. And uh, on scent combinations for every candle they create. So they are hand poured using soy wax and organic cotton wicks. Um, the website, which will be all linked in the description box, includes the ingredient list for each candle, how to personalize, and a refund policy. So I thought that was all good. I didn't want to talk about them in depth here, but they are all there for you to check out in case you're interested in the brand. Um, I really thought it was neat that they had like big cities, all the states, some other experiences like wedding day, summer camp, and it's like I don't ha I've not had all those experiences, but I thought it's so cool and such a giftable memory thing, you know, to use for the candle lover in your life to, you know, be able to tie memories to a scent. I thought was pretty cool because a lot of us probably do have scent memories. Um, I remember my grandpa used to smell like sulfur to me because he had matches. So he always kind of had that sulfur smell. So when I would smell a match being lit, um, this was like the 90s, guys. I know we don't even use those anymore. We use USB lighters. Come on. Um, but when I smell that anywhere, I would think of my grandpa. Um, so, you know, just stuff like that. But... Uh, let's talk about the candle I chose. So this is the Illinois candle. Um, they are, I want to say I wrote down, they're 13.75 ounces and it says burn time is 60 to 80 hours. And I would believe that. I have probably burnt this four times for two to four hours each and it's still very full. Um, the soy wax burns slower. It doesn't burn too hot um, and it really has been burning pretty evenly. Um, so I have to give it that for sure. Um, I do think soy wax just is a nice clean burn. If you haven't ever had that experience, I do recommend you get it. I could tell the difference with the first soy wax candle. I was like, wow, that's, you know, no soot. It's rare anyway. The candle stays clean the whole time. It's just kind of a nice experience. So the notes on this, it says here, top notes of chocolate, bergamot, 
honeysuckle, lavender, and then raspberry and vanilla. A fresh floral bouquet of honeysuckle, lavender, and violet, hint of grain field, light breeze, and a touch of vanilla and lemon. So like I said, homesick.com is where I ordered this from. The price for the candles is a little expensive, I think. <laughs> For what you're getting again it's a nice gift and they do have sales i did i've checked on twice there was like a 15 percent off and a 20 percent off sale so you know you don't have to pay the full price but full price is 34 dollars, and the best sale i saw was 23.80 so they all come in like a jar like this so here's the candle and i know it's burning so i'm gonna be careful um they all come in like this kind of beer mug style with just the plain label. That's all you get. Um, all the wax that I saw was white, so I didn't see any different colors. And then let's talk about the throw. Um, I've had this in my office. I've had this in an open concept room burning. When I first lit it, it was in an open concept room and I couldn't smell it whatsoever. I let it burn for two, three hours. And I was like, I sat probably this close to it and I was like, I can smell a hint of something. So I would say in an open concept room, the throw on this particular candle was not great. But here in my office with the door shut and it's been burning for at least a couple hours, I can smell several different notes and they are, you know, kind of uh, wafting out from the candle. So I don't have to be super close to smell it. I like that I can kind of be around the room and know there's a candle going. So I would say like in a medium sized room, it's gonna give you like a seven out of 10 and a big open concept. I don't wanna go past the five cause I'm pretty sure it was just too big of a space. It is not a huge candle and it's just a single wick. Um, I would probably give it a six out of 10. So um, let's talk about on cold I smelled a fresh man. That's what I smelled. And I actually decided because I was very on the fence about this whole concept of how do they exactly get it to smell like Illinois, right? How does an Illinois candle differ from an Indiana candle or an Ohio candle? And I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars to figure it out. Um, so I just asked, you know, I, I wrote down my notes and then I asked four or five people on cold and then I burnt it and I asked them again. And then I asked them what they think it should smell like. So I'm going to give you all of that. Um, so on cold for me, it was a fresh man, like a fresh out of the shower man. I mean, I'm assuming that's probably the bergamot and maybe a little bit of like the honeysuckle lavender. You can find that in some like men's body washes, I think. Um, and then a, like, a hint of floral. So I'm thinking that was the lavender, super light. Um, and then burning, all I smell is lemon. It says hint of lemon and I'm telling you guys, it's so strong. I don't know what part of lemon would tie to Illinois. I was really trying to think. I even Googled it, like what lemons associated with Illinois. There was nothing that really came up that made any sense to me. So I'm not quite sure why, you know, those 30 to 100 people that were interviewed felt like lemon was a prominent note to put in an Illinois candle, but sorry, definitely needed a drink. Um, that is there. So um, yeah, I think so. My, my bottom line is, for me, I didn't smell anything that made me think, this really ties me to home. Um, unfortunately, I think for me, if it had a grain or a corn note, which I'm sure is really hard to do, more of an earthy note because a lot of farming happens in um, Illinois. A lot of grain farming, bean farming, soybeans. I'm from the northern Illinois part, so it was mostly cornfields, like of my four hours of the eight I drove, it was all through cornfields. It was not like main big cities or anything like that. Sorry guys, I still have the allergies. So I just, I felt a sneeze coming. So I got rid of that, I'm good. Um, so on the website, like I said, so for me, I didn't get half the notes. I was like chocolate, bergamot, honeysuckle, maybe that would, lavender for sure, vanilla, okay. Um, I didn't get raspberry, I don't know. Didn't get half those notes at all. No one that I asked, I asked, um, my son, he said, I don't know. It just smells good. Um, I asked my sister, she said, fresh man. I asked my aunt, she says men's cologne. And then I asked Aaron, he says it smells like my shower gel. So it was pretty overwhelming that this just smelled like men's cologne, which again, I just, I don't think of anything like, it's not like New York or a place where it's got like high fashion and you're going to have like colognes coming from it or perfumes or any of those kind of brands. So um, interesting. And like I said, on burning, I felt like I could smell mostly lemon with a hint of like lavender. Um, and so Aaron felt the same. My aunt kind of smelled more floral than lemon. 
my sister smelled like a lemon cleaner. And then Aiden said, yeah, I think that's right. It's like lemon cleaner. So then I asked them all what it should smell like. And like I said, for me, I was really hoping for some kind of connection to farming or grain. Not too big of a connection to farming, okay? I didn't want to smell like piggy poop. But, um, you know, because those are all over the place too. But I just thought some grain, you know, like a soybean kind of element or something earthy would really work for an Illinois candle. Um, but, you know, the answers were pretty funny. So Aaron said a cornfield. My aunt said lilacs. Now, there are a lot of people that have huge, huge lilac bushes in northern Illinois where we live. So almost everyone did. You know, it was kind of one of those things as a kid. You would go pick a few piles for your mom and put them in a cup on the table. Um, my sister said Chicago pizza. <laughs> she goes to Chicago more than I do. And then Ains said a carnival. Now, we passed by a couple of carnivals, so he might have just had that on the mind. But that is something, you know, a lot of those little small towns, they have festivals every summer. So that kind of makes sense for a kiddo to think that that would smell like um, home. So my overall thoughts are I'm a pretty sentimental weirdo when it comes to things. So this probably would have got me at some point, even if I wasn't reviewing candles. Um, I have, if it, the price point was a, a better place for me, I would probably want to try a couple different ones to see what the different experiences are. I've been to Vegas, try that one. I've been to Chicago, try that one. I would hope that that one would smell like pizza, but I don't think that was in the notes. I think that's why I went with this one. But, um, so I love everything behind the brand, the concept, the idea. And uh, so like, you know, if people in your life have become distant memories or you move apart, what a wonderful gift you could offer. Now, in terms of did they exactly nail it for me, not so much, but that doesn't mean that they didn't nail it for somebody else. Just for me, I didn't get the concept of the clean man scent for Illinois. So, so basically for me, I would say this is kind of a fun idea, kind of a beautiful concept behind your brand to have memories, you know, as, as your reason for purchase, like where you've been and who you know and all the things. I would like to do more um, maybe in the future, but for now, I'm happy that I got to try it and I have this candle and like I said, does not smell bad. Just does not smell like Illinois. So those are my thoughts. So let me know down below what you thought of this review. And if you are curious about the brand, if you go do any research, please let me know. Like I said, um, it does list the scent notes for every state and city and experience. So at least you could have an idea of what it would smell like. But once I got this candle, it didn't smell like anything that I thought chocolate, lavender, raspberry, vanilla, nothing fruity about this candle whatsoever. Um, so I am going to let you go now. And if you have any ideas of other brands I can use, I have a couple, but I haven't purchased anything yet for July. So if you have any ideas of a brand I can do a little bit of a deep dive into, let me know because I am definitely interested in hearing your guys' thoughts. So I will talk to you in a video tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.